when you come to Charis, you must know why you are here. Say amen. Amen. Are you hearing that? Amen. When you come here, you must know what? Why you are here. Because look at the whole week. You'll be busy with your things, working, taking care of your family, doing all those kind of things. And in all these seven days, God is only asking for one day. One. Some people, they can't spend the whole day at church. And it's only one day. In seven days. So now, every time when you come here, tell your neighbor and say, I'm coming here with a purpose. Can you tell your neighbor, say, I'm coming here with a purpose. Tell your neighbor again, I'm coming here with a purpose. Hallelujah. Because if not, you'll end up going to church to have fun. Are you hearing me? You'll end up doing what? Going to church to have fun. Or maybe going to church because you've got nothing to do at home. This is the time, if you are sitting very close to someone who's disturbing you in the church, tell that person, hey, hey, let me go and sit there. Because you're not here to, to listen to stories. Are you hearing me? You are here so that God must bless you. Amen. Huh? Amen. Brother, you are here so that God must do what? must bless you. If you sit here and you've got a friend here who's talking things and the pastor is there preaching prayers, there's someone who is who's disturbing you. Just say, hey, go away, when, uh, you demon. Are you hearing that? Huh? This is the time that when you come to church, you come for yourself. Huh? Are you hearing me? Listen, we're going to close. I won't take time. But this is the time you do what? When you come to church, you come for what? For yourself. One of the reasons why many people, they move from one church to another, it is because of stories that they're always hearing. And you find the person who's feeding you the stories. They found you here in the church. I, I want you from today because I've been praying about this thing. I was worried a lot. God, why all the time we pray for these people, they don't get blessed? And God said, no, they listen to stories. From today, stop listening to stories. Charis is not a church of stories. This is a church of God. The foundation is God. It has been laid upon the truth. So from today, I want to tell you, Please check your life. Check your Christianity. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. Are you hearing me? Amen. Huh? Amen. Our Lord Jesus is very soon. Listen, if you fall, how can can you stand up very quick? Amen like a speed huh? yeah. Stand up very quick. You, say, you, you fix your life. I was telling people, I said, why now in a church we are moving from the issue of blessings? I mean, I mean we are moving from preaching sin. We are on blessings. If I come to you and say, receive, you say, ah, receive. But if I come and say, stop sinning, oh, you say, yeah, he's not a man of God. I'm telling you. I'm speaking the truth. If I come to you and say, sister, 
Next week, you're not going to come back here again. So please, I'm begging in the name of God. Uh, Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. If you fall, can you stand up now? Now, I mean now. You don't have time. You don't have time. You stand up now, you fix your life. Because when you read the word of God, Jesus Christ said, even me, I don't know the hour. The minute. It's only God who knows. I can speak with you now. You'll find this. We are left with two seconds. And when you read the word of God, it says, those that are in the graves, those that have died doing good in the grace. When he comes, they will be able to hear his voice. So are you going to hear his voice? Lift up your hands. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for this wonderful day. For this, for this wonderful day. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. May it become like a seed in our lives. May it become like a seed in our lives. And germinate at the right time. And germinate at the right time. Thank you for the direction. Thank you for the direction. Thank you for your servants. Thank you for your servants that are always teaching us the truth. That are always teaching us the truth. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your mercy. Allow Holy Spirit to be. Allow of Holy us. Spirit to be part Let of us. Let Him direct us. Let Him direct us. Only in good places. Only in good places. In Jesus' mighty in name. Jesus' mighty name. Amen.